Hey guys, if you're in 91, and I'm talking about the Smitch. That's right, not the Switch now, the Smitch. The Smitch is the knockoff console for the Switch. And this looks just way too close to the Switch, in my opinion. In fact, when I, was, when I looked at the box on Review Tech USA's video, I actually read Switch and not Smitch, I believe, when I saw the box art because it just looks so dead close. So what does this console do? Well, it's a retro console. Basically, it plays a bunch of games. Over 800, actually. Yeah, um, here's the thing. I understand when someone gives you a retro console and it's over 800 games that they've most likely jailbroken the console or whatnot, but this is supposed to be like semi-legit here. Even on the article it says it's designed to play illegally obtained classic ROMs from the early to late 90s, so I don't understand. But I gotta give slight credit to the person whoever made this design because it really does look like a Switch. I could see a parent, if this wasn't a game store that is, I'm not sure if the official game stores are selling these, walking into the game store, maybe trying to get their child a Switch for Christmas, right? And then the parent going and seeing this box art and stuff and saying, oh wow, $50? That's the Switch, let me get it. And then they get it and then the, the child opens it on Christmas day and it's like, what? What is this? I, I could see that happening because it just looks so similar. It's amazing that we haven't heard of any, like, Sue from Nintendo yet, because this seems like copyright. We'll just have to wait and see. What do you guys think about this console, about the look, about the games and everything? The controllers are actually still using AAA batteries. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.